What is going on? Gepsito here, bringing you a little League of Legends commentary. So, I'm playing Corky mid, and you might think this is AP. No, it's not AP, it's AD, of course. Why wouldn't, why would it be AP? I mean, Corky is just so strong right now. He's like the best AD carry in the game right now, in my opinion. He's just amazing. And it's a lot because of the Trinity Force buff, um, which I actually approve of. I think it's a good buff. And I like it a lot, even though it might get nerfed in Season 4, which I don't hope it will. Uh, so look at his damage right here. Actually, Shogath is going to come in for a gank, and I'm going to get killed so stupidly. Um, but, I yeah, I'm playing Corky AP. No, not AP. What did I say? Um, AD mid. And we do have like a full AD team, but even if this is ranked, uh, it will work. I mean... You might think that, oh, it's it's full AD armor and it's GG for the enemy team. I mean, it's just so easy to counter that. But it's easier to say that than to do it. So, Kaelin is going to get killed here, unfortunately. But I'm going to pick up Thresh for the 300 gold. Uh, Ven is going to get away here as well. Um, so, yeah, what do you do on Quirky? I play him AD, of course, with a little bit of uh, AP from my Trinity Force. Which is, like, pretty much the only reason why uh, Quirky is... Uh, such a great champion right now. He's such a great champion right now. He's like picked and banned in every um, championship game. Um, so look at this damage right here. Uh, I don't have my Sheen, but I'm still able to do some sick damage to this Wayne, even if she has uh, her ultimate or he has his ultimate. And he's gonna go for a little dive here. I don't know what happened right there, but you gotta ask him. Don't ask me, okay? Don't ask me. So, yeah. I've been having some problems with my recording. I've been getting some FPS drops for pretty much no reason. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, but I did manage to record this gameplay uh, with a little bit of uh, FPS drops still. But I'm doing it for you guys. Come on. Come on. I'll, I'm going to do it for you. So Swain is going to get caught here. He's not going to be able to sustain this sick damage when I come back with my freaking Sheen. And he's going to get killed. And it's just awesome. Like, before the Trinity Force buff, and before I saw all the people playing Corky in Worlds and all that shit, I thought that Corky is easily one of the worst champions in the game. No kidding, okay? Like, there's no bad champion in the game. They're, like, all the champions are good at some point, but, I mean, some of them are less strong, you know, viable. Um... So I've always thought that Cork is pretty useless. He's got some not so good range. Uh, he's got he doesn't have any like he's got some he's got a good early game with some AP damage, but he doesn't have like any real uh, like his Q isn't that ranged. His ultimate is pretty good, but I've always thought that oh man, it doesn't do any damage and it just costs a lot of mana. But now since the uh, buff of Corky, uh, the mana costs are reduced which is awesome um, I don't think that Corky is gonna get nerfed in season 4 though the Trinity Force might get nerfed because it's really really strong right now especially on 80 carries like uh, Corky um, Estrel with his Q it's just an insane thing for Estrel to buy right now Trinity Force uh, a while ago, it was the Iceborne Gauntlet that dominated the um, the shop for Estrel and all those AD carries. But now it's the Trinity Force that is back, which I, I think is really good. It's fun. It's it's really fun. And I would say that Corky is one of the best AD carries right now. And it's, it's so good. It's just fucking overpowered. I just love his ultimate and everything. It's just so good. Um, I'm going to come in for a little gank here on uh, Thresh and Vayne. Look at all that damage, look at my ultimates, oh my fucking god, and Caitlyn is gonna not pick up the kill, and but I'm gonna get the kill with uh, my ultimate on Vayne right there. So the reason why, like, Corky's ultimate might not do that sick damage per, like, ultimate, but, I mean, you could save it up so you have, like, seven, I think, at max, seven ultimates that you can pretty much spam, and they still do damage, I mean, they do a lot of damage, and they're... They have some sick range. Uh, they only cost 20 mana right now. So that is just fucking epic. And after each use, you can use a basic attack to proc that Sheen passive or Trinity Force passive, whatever you want to say. 
I'm gonna jump on uh, Swain right here and rape his vase. So moving on, I'm gonna push for the turret right here. Uh, Shogath is gonna come for a little sneaky gank right here, but I am gonna be able to. I think I'm gonna flash for this actually because I see his uh, insane damage right there. I thought that I was gonna be able to kill him, but I don't have any life steal at this point. You want to rush Trinity Force on uh, Corky? It's I I always get the when I play in bot lane because I don't play him mid a lot. I play him pretty pretty much bot lane only. Uh, this was an exception because um, I don't even know. I thought it was a mistake or something that I actually picked Corky. I was I thought that I was going AD carry, but uh, I wasn't, so that sucked. Uh, but Caitlyn managed to do a great job in bot, and I managed to do a great job in mid. So that won us the game pretty much. Uh, so I'm going to go for Vayne here, and Caitlyn is going to get the kill on... Uh, no, Ka yeah, Caitlyn is going to get the kill on mid. So look at that sick damage! Oh my god, we got so much poke. I mean, this is a good combo because this is such a poke team with like Caitlyn with his with her insane Q, kind of like my ultimate, and then her ultimate, which is like just fucking epic. It's just a great poke team, a good early game team as well. So Seth is just minding his own business at top, not even caring about our team fights, but we don't need him. I don't think so. At least I'm gonna get hooked right here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get killed. My we might have needed him in this fight. I'm not sure, but now he's gonna come down. That was pretty late, Seth. What are you? What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god! And he gets killed. Stupid idiot. Nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, they're gonna go for a little overextend here. They're gonna overextend, and I'm gonna chase them down. And I mean, it's Vayne and Swain and Riven, and they're all running away from me. Like three people, they could have easily turned this, but you know, I, I keep harassing them with my ultimate, jumping after them, getting Swain, awesome. And Riven is gonna go for stupid, stupid engage right here. I'm gonna use my ultimate, boom, dead. And actually, Riven is uh, or Vayne is gonna be pretty. S no, not here. My bad. I'm gonna push for the turret instead. I have the double buff, which is awesome for Corky because the mana is kind of needed. Uh, I'm not going to get killed by the turret. So where was I? I was talking about the Trinity Force. Trinity, f yeah, you rush the Trinity Force. When I play him AD carry, I go for the Doran's Blade and then I just farm. I stay back and farm until I have around 1,500 gold, around some somewhere around that because there, because then I can buy my Sheen and a pair of boots. Um, which is then gonna uh, enable me to engage some fights because once once you get that sheen, you're fucking unstoppable. And once you get that Trinity Force, you are God mode, man. Like seriously, it's stupidly overpowered. But I still think it's good. I mean, like Trinity Force was wasn't even a viable item anymore uh, once the Iceborne Gauntlet came out. It was just. A bunch of random stats that didn't do that much. It was good for some champions, but the Iceborne Gauntlet was a bit better for champs like Estral and stuff. So I, I, I'm grateful that it's back. It's it's really fantastic. And yeah, actually, I've been watching some Worlds lately. Uh, you know the World Championship in League of Legends, uh, if you know what that is. I never watched LCS or anything like that. I think I've watched like three games in uh, like ever right now. And I gotta admit, it's pretty goddamn funny. Like I was bored one day, and I decided let's let's watch it. And it's it's freaking funny. You know, take a drink, sit back, and enjoy it. It's it's really fun. And also the commentators, they do a great job. Uh, actually, I could have killed Cho'Gath right there. He got away from my like last auto attack, but I just ran away instead, which was pretty stupid. So if you've never watched it, I think you should because it's really fun. The commentators they do a great job uh, at commentating. It it makes the it makes it really fun to watch. Uh, so I think the finals are on Friday, which I'm definitely going to be watching. If it's not like really 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 late, it might be at night or something here in Sweden. I'm not sure, uh, but I think it's Tuesday today. I'm not sure when this. Uh, video will be uploaded it might be uploaded before Friday hopefully uh, so I don't know but guys leave a comment in the comment section below what is your favorite uh, team LCS team whatever pro team in League of Legends 
as I said, I'm not really that engaged in this whole thing. Uh, but I think if I were to choose one, I think Fnatic. Uh, because I think they... they it's, just, it's just a great team. And I like XP key, so why, why not? I mean, I don't have a reason for it more than that I like XP key. And I love this backdoor with Cassidy that one time. It was just the, like the best League of Legends play I've ever seen. Just fucking amazing. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Just search Cassidy and XP key backdoor. It's just fucking insane! You know? You know what I mean? So if you haven't already watched the Fnatic versus... I can't even remember who they played against, but... Spoiler alert! Don't listen to this if you haven't watched it. Uh, Fnatic lost, which is kind of sad. But I'm still going to watch the finals. It's going to be fun. Uh, we're gonna take the Baron, and this is gonna be the end for the game uh, pretty soon. We're gonna get, we're gonna find someone here, I think. Yeah, Shogath and Thresh are gonna land, gonna get landed, gonna get caught in this beautiful Jarvan pull in or pull off, or I don't even know. But I'm gonna chase down the Swain, and yeah. Corky is pretty good late game as well. I've always liked late game AD carries because I mean I prefer late game champions in general so I, I do like them uh, but I always thought that Corky wasn't like early game hardcore champ but it's pretty good uh, throughout the whole game which is awesome pretty awesome right and they're gonna surrender here so we're gonna pick up the victory there goes the nexus down victory for us ranked game completed Peace!